today we're gonna try and remove the stereo of Toyota Kruger Garante 2008 to 2010 models uh, this model in particular didn't came with the USB port so today I'm gonna show you know how can we fit the aftermarket uh, G-ROM USB adapter to this uh, Toyota Grande stereo first step we have to remove this air condition vents it's quite easy you can buy one of these cheap uh, plastic hooks to pull this out just fit it on the two side and you have to pull it out with a little bit of force but still sensibly and gently so that's our first step remember air vent they out okay so next step, we have to take this control cover off. So I just squeezed in this uh, little hook here and then just try to push it out. Again, with a little bit of force, but gently. We have to now do the same thing on the other end. See. This trim removal hook is quite useful. It's a matter of pushing it out now. This unit is out now. As you can see, it's all single unit. There's a one little cable which the two two cables actually behind it I'll show you if you can see okay now we have I've removed those three cables and taken that part out this is a 12 volt DC make sure don't uh, mess with up it can short and cause a problem and uh, here's the part I put it on the back seat now uh, we got these four screws one two and two on the top three and four these are required to be removed in order to get the stereo out i am using this little key here a uh, little spanner i wouldn't recommend you guys to use it it's too risky it can go into the air vents or can fall down so have something better you know like a screwdriver or something which has a uh you know the spanner which holds onto the screwdriver i think that's the safest bet here but you know i took a risk somehow i managed to lose them without dropping this spanner inside the car okay so now we have connected the cable the y cable which came with the g rom 3 you need another person to hold it i got my mom to help me out so this one this is a Y cable and the small connector will go to the spare slot here, the back side of the stereo. I had to actually remove this cable to get this out properly because it was too short. So here we go. That's our Giro. It's on the back side of the stereo inside the dash. I'm gonna tie it with the plastic tie. After having g 3, I had my USB cable pass through this hole behind uh, on the side of the glove box. You can see cable goes through here and it's coming out of the dash on the back side of the air condition controller. Now I'm gonna plug it into the g -ROM. It's plugged in now. So now I managed to fit it all and I'm going to show you guys how it works. Actually I didn't uh, I didn't pull the cable through the dashboard as it was not a good idea. The cable was kind of uh, you know getting squeezed here. So I changed the plan and I pushed the cable through to the front. There was a spare slot here. I removed that plastic cover 
and somehow i managed to plug in that usb cable it it was tight enough to hold the usb and i've got my usb ready with the folders uh, one folder only actually i created just to test it as per the website of grom so you have to create a folder uh, starting from uh, naming as 01 upper score and then folder name so this was the spare uh, cover a uh, spare spot where i managed to plug in the usb see the cable if uh, i'm not sure you can see from the back so cable is plugged in now it's time to test let's press the disc button so i think it's straight away straight away picked up the usb yeah that's right it's showing me the six six series options here these are actually the six folders which you can create in the USB. So I'm gonna try and press the disk button again. So yeah, it now has taken me to the actual CD room. So this uh, stereo system, the default stereo system has a four CD changer in it. So we are back into that and you know, I've got two CDs in it for first and second. And if I wanna go back to the USB again, I'll press the disk button again. Uh, I'll just give this stereo a bit of chance to settle in first. So this is still a disc. Now I'm going to go to USB, press the disc, and it's going to USB straight away. And good thing, yeah, I think uh, it starts the song from where you leave it. And yeah, now it's time to put everything back in. And then drive and enjoy music cheers okay so now we have enjoyed the music on the usb this one thing i want to add here this grom also unable to use the android uh, phone directly connected to it so you can stream the audio through the application it's called dash link app you can download it from play store from Android uh, for Android phones on I think and this is how it actually looks I've got my another handset with this app on and then I have got the songs application called Ghana on it and then I can actually you know play the song of choice here it's connected with the USB to micro USB and let's see the volume so yeah there's the advertisement here you can see the advertisement on the app is streaming through the system See, now the song has started so yeah it's a good feature I uh, just want to add one thing on to this basically the other mobile which I got it's Samsung S7 Edge it's like 3-4 years old phone it has Android 8 in it I've spoken to uh, Kushi Kushi.com uh, Scott is very good guy and you can actually have a bluetooth attachment to it as well and my vehicle already got a bluetooth uh, in it so i don't really you know, feel the necessity of it and i've got this android phone to play as well so yeah it can work fine for me you know in future if i want to enable the another bluetooth and audio you know i'll ring scott uh, i'll buy it online yep, that's it thank you